Hi, this is Cass from Aussie Cass Plays, and welcome to Season 2, Part 30 of my 100 Vampire Baby Challenge. As you may recall from the last part, Oliver's now an A student. He's ready to age up, which is great. Hannah's also obviously ready to get pregnant again. So that's going to be our plan for this part. These two toddlers are driving me batty. Frankly, not going to lie. Now, Phoebe, I'm sure I didn't tell you to follow your, tell you to follow your sister around and stalk her. She actually just needs movement. So I'm going to have her... Hannah, can I just get you to turn it on? I don't even really care. And then I'll get her to bob to the music. That'd be great. Now, Oliver, quick, I gotta watch. Did you do it? Did you do it? Didn't work. All right, try again. Yay! Good work, Oliver. And he is a writer. What is the number between 1 and 12? A random number between 1 and 12 is 11. Nature. What's a number between one and four? A random number between one and four is three. An outdoor enthusiast. He's an outdoor enthusiast, a bad cook, and a writer. Oh, look at my little nerdy boy. Wow. Check you out, boy. Add birthday candles. He's not yet a vampire, which is unfortunate. Hannah, darling, there's a thing you need to do over here. You need to turn him into a vampire. I'll pop that in the fridge. We still have a bit, little bit of time left on that, which is great. What are we doing? No, we're not talking. She's bobbing. Bob faster. <laughs> Toddler dancing is very cute. And she's currently working on her thinking skill. All right, so we've got to just turn little Oliver here into a vamp. I really hate these pants. I hate that they're even in my game. I should go through and I know in MC Command Center you have options to like set the clothes that you never want to see in the world. Phoebe can now dance and stuff. All right, cool. Stop talking. Come in here. So she should be threes and everything. She in fact in fours in communication because she kept demanding attention and it was the easiest way to give it to her. So that cake I just put away can come straight back out again. All right. And perhaps you could ask your mother for help to blow out the candles. Quinn's thinking level two, so she can now come in here and work on the blocks, which I gather is quicker. I think that's how it works. Anyway, he needs to, once he's eaten that, I need him to have a shower and then do his homework. He actually, on his own, had done his grade school homework. Not super helpful, so... And he needs to get a skills level three, of which he has no skills. I might just give him a project, actually. Happy birthday, Phoebe! You are tone deaf. Unable to perceive differences of musical pitch accurately. Great. Just my favourite kind of sim. What's the number between one and four? A random number between one and four a is four. A tone deaf social butterfly. I don't know why Hannah chose this outfit as her post childbirth outfit fit but frankly good on her so i'll get her to do all that do her homework and then she already has a skill at level two because of that whole overachieving on communication thing which is great uh and she's working on blocks over there so i guess that means that what we need to work on i'll just check the garden because Oh, actually, no, I need to have her get pregnant first because the fellas are not going to want to come over later in the day. So we're going to update our social media, check our followers, add a Simstagram story, and then we're going to invite someone over that we're not related to. BJ will die soon. <laughs> I was just thinking I, just, I wanted to just be friends with him, but he'll be dead and then he won't appear in my queue and annoy me anymore. That's terrible, I know. <laughs> What's the matter with you? You're tired. I mean, fair. I guess I'll have you... Ass oh, I can assign beds now. It's exciting. Shall I assign him a bed upstairs? I never use this bed. Like, ever. Assign bed, Oliver. I think the assign bed thing definitely came with a new patch. It's part of the university roommate idea. Where are you going? What are we celebrating? Your mum's not even outside. I'm confused. 
Uh, are we celebrating the fact she invited someone over? I mean, it doesn't seem like a great idea. Let's. Not that we needed it with this guy. I think we just invited him over and woohooed with him last time, didn't we? Isn't that how it went? Doesn't matter. I'm going to use the vampiric alluring visage just because I'm trying to use her powers because that means she dark meditates, which means she gets XP. Can you stop talking to my kids? It's weird. All right, I'm going to brighten his day and then I'm going to beguile him and then, I don't know, we're probably just going to go straight to bed. Risky hookup, I think, is slice of life and I don't know what the chances of pregnancy are. It's interesting I don't have a woohoo option. Oh, is a hookup one that doesn't increase romance? That's really interesting. So because our romance isn't high enough to actually woohoo and try for a baby, I can't woohoo with him, but I can hit on him. You can't watch this. That's not okay. I'm out here. And Bob. Just getting her out of the way. I don't know why Hannah decided this was the place to do this. I mean, not great, but that's all right. Uh, okay. We'll snuggle. And we'll flirt. And we'll confess attraction. It's the pink shoes and the pink shirt that's really doing it for me, I have to say. Have they even first kissed? I ah, think they just went straight to the hookup without the first kiss. Maybe that's why I don't have woohoo yet. There we go. First kiss, and then hopefully it will let us woohoo. I don't know what skill she's supposedly working on. I assume charisma, but she's already... I don't know. So maybe a hookup is something we can do in Slice of Life without, like agnostic of relationships so basically you can just choose to sleep with someone which i'm gonna not use that i think uh for the 100 baby challenge because it feels a little bit like counterproductive like i'm supposed to seduce them that's part of the challenge see now we can woohoo so let's try for a baby in the sauna <laughs> hey want to come woohoo in a sauna with me Poor Phoebe. She's always been, like, the sort of tricky one. Oh, look, she looks so sad. Her little lips quivering. Aww. I have to get a photo of Oliver, too. Oh! I was like, what's Hannah doing? Oh, that's right. She's in a cloud of white. <laughs> Good work, sweetie. There's no bathroom down here. That's quite annoying. I really should add a little toilet down here. I could maybe pop it in this empty space or sort of have it go that way with that sound effect. Except I really like this blank wall. This blank wall is where I put all my photos when I'm looking at them. So I don't want to ruin that wall. Maybe coming off here. I don't use that space. Yeah. Sit together. I don't really want to sit together. Why here is a bat and stuff? Take a pregnancy. Oh, I didn't do the massage. <sighs> Dang it. If she's pregnant, I might have Hannah just potty train. Oh, no, because I need to dump the guy. I don't want this to turn into another BJ situation. Oh, no, she can go potty on her own now. She's wandering around naked with a strange man in the house, which I'm not super keen about. We are eating for two. Okay, Hannah. Let's go downstairs and tell him the big news and break up with him. There we go. Oh, the baby's crying. Have we broken up with him yet? We have. Cool. He can stay down there. We can go up here and look after the baby. At least we're having lots of girls, I guess. The advantage of that is obviously if it does get to the point where I need a new matriarch soon which I might. Yep, you should really get going. That's a good idea. Quinn's movement level three. Yay, good work, Quinn. And she's taking herself to bed. Oh my gosh, what a good kid. She's my new favorite, except she can't evolve that plant. I'll have to, you know, get Hannah to do that, I guess. Her daisy bush is perfect and everybody's asleep. Let's take this moment, you guys, to just appreciate that everybody is asleep. All right, well, I guess I might skip through till morning and I will catch you guys then. 
All right, everyone's up, annoyingly, because some of them shouldn't be. Poor Oliver hasn't gotten anywhere near where he needs to be for school, <laughs> so that's a problem. I'm just trying to get him to get his homework done. He can at least work on his performance. Phoebe has just got to finish her homework, but I don't think she's going to get there. She's only got half an hour. And this one woke up from a nightmare, so I'm trying to actually just get her to eat. So she's finished her homework. That's great. Good work, Phoebe. All right, so Phoebe's off to school. Oliver, actually, buddy, don't worry about the project. Just go to school. I'll have him do the project when he gets home. Why? See, they say they fixed it. They totally didn't. I've actually found it's worse now because not only... It's doing... What it's doing that I've noticed is that when the... It's like the old pay bills interaction, which they supposedly fixed. So if you queue anything after paying bills, they don't pay the bills. So you have to actually just tell them to pay bills and then not do anything else. They say they fix that, but it's now doing the same thing with food. So if I tell her to eat and that's all I tell her to do, she eats. But if I tell her to eat and then do something else, I did the same thing with Oliver. He, I told him to eat and then I told him to do his homework. He didn't eat. He got the food out, put it straight back down and went and did his homework. So it's the exact same glitch we used to have on the pay bills thing. Where are you running to? Don't throw up. Gross. Oh, we don't have a maid anymore, Hannah. Now you got to clean it. Ugh. I'm kind of relying on the fact that I've got the robot vacuums to do the vast majority, like all the floor cleaning, so the puddles and all of that kind of stuff. But I've still got to clean the toilets and bathrooms and things now, which is annoying because we have like over, oh my God, the baby's crying. How long has it been doing that? We have over like a hundred thousand simoleons and I'm like cleaning my own toilets. Anyway, that's, uh, I was just checking when it's the baby's birthday. So tomorrow. Now I don't think I've checked Whose phone is ringing? Oh, Phoebe spent most of recess running around trying to kiss some of the other students. None of this affects responsibility. So I'm going to say ask her to apologize because we don't agree in non-consensual kissing in this household. Hannah at least pretends to get consent. Oh my God, we've gone up. I actually don't reckon we're going to get to our 26 babies, you guys, because we've gone up to the quarter mark on getting to Grandmaster. So we have four PowerPoints to spend, but all of the cool ones are five. So dampened emotions, becoming more resistant to changes in emotions, uh, supernatural speed. She just zips around. I know I've seen Caleb do that before. Deprived needs, manipulating common sims is the key to weakening prey. Deprived needs allows one to deplete the hunger, energy, bladder, or hygiene of a chosen target. Odorless, which means I think their hygiene doesn't go down. Sun resistance. Sun resistance is obviously what I'm going to take. So we're going to save up a little bit more, I think. He's feeling unwell because he's turning into a vampire. And I didn't check if this one was a vamp. So I'm going to do that now. We'll... Oh, did I wake her up? I didn't mean to do that. No, I didn't mean to do that. Go back to bed. I was just going to see if you're a vampire. You don't need to be awake for that. <laughs> Let's have a look. I forgot. I always forget. So I think we knew that Phoebe is, we knew Oliver wasn't. So she is. Quinn is a vampire. That's awesome. And obviously we can't click on Rowan because she's an object. So yeah. Anyway. So yeah, quarter of the way through to Grandmaster Vampire and we're up to Q. Cool. Oliver's picking on people who are trying to bully him and doing well. It's almost Rowan's birthday. All right, hang on. Phoebe's been working hard and she's now a B student. Great job. Oliver is done with school for the day. A B is not bad, but that doesn't mean there isn't room for improvement. Well, I mean, fair. Can you go and go to the toilet first and then get some food? We're gonna do it in that order. Chill out, dude. And then I'm gonna get you to work on this project. Oh, I can't queue anything up after she's got food. Can't. Got to do that last. This is probably not going to work either. I mean, I could be wrong. I've just noticed that that seems to be... Because it failed on Oliver the exact same way. Apparently me trying to stick plasma food on this bench is causing a last exception error. Interesting. See? He's not eating. 
Maybe I could have him sit. Can you watch TV while you eat? Watch comedy. Sounds like it'd be good for your fun. Cool. And you need also to eat. Didn't I tell you to eat? I did, I'm sure I did. So it turns out that this whole, oh, we fixed the toddlers just means we've broken everybody. <sighs> it's going really well. How are you two both going? You're eating. Are you eating? Yes, you're eating. You're just sitting there. That's okay. Once he gets his fun up, I'll have him. It's funny, they're both redheaded, but they have different dads. Like, the red hairs come from different dads. You can tell where my focus has been lately. Now I've switched to brown hair, just so we're all clear. Brown hair's the new hair colour that I'm looking for in my children. <laughs> that I'm breeding in my children. Because, you know, that's how I roll. For those of you who've come in late and are wondering why I've been like, no, I can't breed with him, he's got black hair. It's because Hannah, especially very early on, every kid had black hair. I was like, they all look the same in this little thing down the bottom. And I'm like, how can I even tell them apart? It was really annoying. Oh, well, you're on fire, sweetie. Are we going to dark meditate in the sun? I mean, that seems counterproductive. Take that, sun. Okay, we're not on fire anymore. It's cool. The sun's gone away. Stupid sun. What? what? Are we flying as a bat everywhere now? I mean, cool. It's a bit ostentatious. Can you please go and look after your baby? Thank you. There we go. So we're both sitting here bonding, doing homework next to the sleeping child. All right, I need to get some more of these projects. What is this one? Robotics. If I get all of the same type, then it, I can have them like an individual sim could do a couple and get their skill to level three or four. Is it the one that just gives mental? This one. This one just gives mental. That's great. So I'm going to pop that one in Hannah's inventory for now. And then once she's done her homework, she can start working carefully. He can also start working carefully. And we'll start looking at getting them ready. I mean, it's a Tuesday. It'd be nice to be able to get them kind of aged out and stuff by the end of the day. All right, good work, Phoebe. I kind of tend to forget that my human teens are human and not vamps. Oh, hey, Lilith. Vlad's shown up. Oh, my God, it's been a long time since that's happened. Yes, it's your castle, Vlad. But I live here now. Deal, buddy. He's not an eligible dad. Not that I would. That'd be interesting. I have watched... Uh, Lady Sweet Tart, she's got a like Black Widow challenge that she's doing and one of the dads was Vlad and the kid was actually not bad looking. The chin was a thing but otherwise, I mean she also uses Alpha CC which makes very pretty sims. So, Right, you, you're awake I see. Do I try feeding you again? I guess I can try. Pop that there. If she's just glitched the same way all the other kids are glitched in that she can't have anything queued up after the eating then maybe that's not so bad I can just manage them all the same right I know I'm coming I'm coming it's fine chillax his hygiene is poor he's hungry and she's angry thanks for your help bud right Are we going to school well, at least they're chatting. They're getting social. Oh, Quinn's level three. So we can stop that. What do you need now? Potty and communication and imagination. All right. Play dolls with Hannah. Here we go. It's almost time for these two to go. I know their needs are terrible. I figure they can eat and go to the toilet at school, right? They can, I think. All right. Quinn's imagination level three. And they at least will have both gotten responsibility from doing this as well, which is cool. Alright, no more. Stop. No more tantrum. And they can both study hard. Sorry, kids. I know I'm being a terrible mum. These plants. Constantly growing. I mean, I know that's where all our money's coming from and I shouldn't look a gift horse in the mouth, but 
Yeah. Oh, who's calling now? Okay, we found Oliver trying to hack into the school computers today. We're not sure what his plan was, but he stopped him. Serious stuff, please punish him because he needs to raise his responsibility. That'd be great. No, Elvis, you're dead. Be dead. All right, well, I'm actually... Oh! Oh! My plasma, my thing has grown. Sell all. That's 11,000 simoleons from one plant. That's amazing. I've never actually had, true story, never had a money fruit tree, money tree in The Sims 4, ever. And all this time I've been like spending aspiration points on other things. Okay, I'm gonna skip ahead until the kids get home. Oh my gosh, Oliver came home and he's stinky and he's transforming into a vampire right on the front doorstep. I mean, I was gonna have to give him a makeover anyway for his photo shoot, so. Maybe we could all just go inside. Perhaps you could... Oh my gosh, his hygiene is awful. Go inside! Get out of the sun, you daft vampire. Okay, so I feel like we haven't really gripped this up very well. And when I say we, I mean me. So he's getting programming skill from this thing, but he really needs to like just take a shower and dark meditate and eat some plasma fruit which I can't put more of on the bench at the moment. I don't know why, it's very annoying. So he needs to do all that. And then also maybe watch Sims of the Dead. She needs some fun that she's currently outside playing. What skill was she working on? I can't even remember. Mental, well, you know what's better than playing out there? Playing chess. All right, and among all those other messages, I don't think she can duck meditate again yet among all those other messages was that it's also, to show you, you can keep me honest, it's also Rowan's birthday. So we can come up here and super efficient baby care and then age up Rowan, which is cool. Happy birthday, Rowan. Welcome to the family. Look at her scowling away in the background. All right, we got some gifts from some people, some of whom I don't think I've ever heard of before. I feel like the Corby family is related to everybody in this, like, whole entire safe file now. Yay! Look at her. What a cutie. All right. And her needs, hopefully, are pretty high. Yeah, they are. Cool. Before you put her down... Before you put her down, <laughs> let's pick her up and then fly. Here is a bat, please. Okay, cool. Thank you, Hannah. Your assistance in this matter is greatly appreciated. Right, uh, Phoebe's mental level four, which is great and excellent performance. So she doesn't super need to do her homework. All right, stop that. Take a whatever shower, bath, and go get some food. What are you doing? Eating, and then you need to work on your fun. How is your fun? Good, because you're playing chess. Maybe I could have you play chess. What were you working on again? Programming. Hmm. Maybe instead of that. Come up here. I just feel like all my sims end up with the same skills. Oh, he can't play. Far too tense. Fine, watch TV. Maybe you could do a dance video. <laughs> That gives him fitness. I'm gonna end up he's gonna end up with all these random random skills and it's not gonna be super helpful. Can I like Whoa 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 what just happened? Can I potty train someone? No, wrong kid. Rowan. Can I potty train Rowan? Bobinette? Cool, we're good friends. Cool story. Oh. Right. Okay. So he's enjoying himself. Is he getting fun from this? Oh, I haven't spent his power points. Uh, bat form, obviously. And we'll get him to the first level of a cult disciple as well. All right, he actually needs a makeover. So I'm just going to do that because I think I'm going... No, I always click the wrong thing. I think I'm going to... Oh, I can check if the other one's a toddler, a vampire. Did I do that yet? Rowan. I can check if Rowan's a vampire. So multitasking. Uh, which one's Rowan? This one. I need to change her hair. 
She is not. She's angelic and also a human. I mean, no one's perfect. Cool. That's exciting. All right, I am going to change her hair just so I can tell her apart from her sister. All right. Uh, all right, I'm just going to give Oliver here a little bit of a makeover and then we'll do his photo shoot and that might be the end of this so i'll just touch back with you guys in a sec we are back and oliver i didn't change his workout wear so yes. he's not you're not going to see uh -huh. any difference because he's an outdoorsy kind of sim i've changed his formal wear and his everyday to make them a little bit more outdoorsy uh, i was just trying to remember if there were any i thought i got photos of every kid let's have a look so we had May and Nora. Okay, so Oliver's next. <laughs> Hear me counting through the alphabet. I'm practically singing the alphabet song. Cool. So once he's, you know, had a little bit of fun there, working out, uh, he can come and we'll do photos and she needs to duck meditate. Now, something I discovered is that once the sim starts using the potty, you actually don't need to keep doing it. All right, Oliver's level two fitness. Dang, boy! He could get to level 3 just doing that. That's cool. I'm going to leave him alone. I know I wanted to get photos of him, and I will. But I'm just going to, like, skip ahead a little. She's also dancing, apparently. Maybe you could go to bed. It's party time! It's party time! Are you distracting her? Oh, she's getting imagination and communication at the same time. Some people might call it distraction. I call it... Helping out. All right. Who had all the veggies? It was you. Can you pass them to the youngest in the tradition of this family? Why are you sad? Potty accident. I mean, it happens to everybody, darling. We all have all been there. Even, even Hannah, when she was a child. I'm sure she had the exact same thing. Oh, he's so stanky. He's like, woo, woo, I'm a bit fragrant. Can I get you to take a brisk shower? And then come back and do it again. Can we do that again? Maybe power sculpting. What do you reckon? And Quinn, poor, poor Quinn, is on the potty treadmill. Come on. Oh no, she's very angry. She's having a tantrum. She's stomping in a puddle. What? Oh, I was going to say, I thought she was much higher. What? Get back in here! Yay! Okay, I think that makes her maxed out on everything. Can I just get her blue candles out now? Oh no, the cake's gone off! That's really annoying. Alright, cook. And we're going to cook, I don't know, a white one. Go to sleep for a bit. And when I have a cake, I'll wake you up. There we go. Beautiful. Much better. Yes, you're enraged. Scary toddler. All right, go to sleep. I get it. It's fine. And he's like, yes, fight that flab. Woo. <laughs> oh, dang. That was accidental, but I'm going to get a screenshot of that. Hello, thumbnail for this video. He's so close. I know I was going to have him work on that project, but he, this has worked out really, really well. And he's really happy. That's great. So then, yes, fitness level three. Awesome. He hasn't done his homework, but he doesn't super need it. I'll have him do it anyway. Then he can take a shower. Then he can take a shower. Uh, Hannah, can I get you to put candles on that? That'd be great. And then once he's taken the shower, oh no, we lost a celebrity level. He can eat some plasma fruit. There we go. Which kid was it, this one? Get in here. Ask for help to blow out candles. From Hannah. Yes, very angry. I know. But do you know what happens when you're a child? You're better able to care for yourself. So that's great. There we go. Happy birthday, Quinn. Good work, buddy. We have a lot of girls thing I'm noticing. All right. She was wild. Now she's naturally smelly like a skunk. That's great. What is a number between one and four? 
A random number between one and four is one. But she's a creative skunk, so you know, that's great. All right, stinky butt. What's the matter? Oh my gosh, she's got a black eye. Okay, she clearly needs a makeover. All right, I need her to do something fun. You know what's fun? Bubble bath. And then you can go to bed. And I'll worry about her obvious need for a, a removal of some custom content later because I don't recall beating her. Now, what I'm going to do is skip ahead to when his needs are taken care of. And then I'm going to do a photo shoot because I think it'd be fun. And then I'm going to wrap up this video. So I will catch you guys in a sec. So that's it. I'm actually going to end this part here, you guys. So uh, he's got a headache and I gave him medication for the headache because I thought it was a Sims headache. Turns out it's a slice of life headache and he's now having a freak out. So it's fine. It's fine. Anyway, I'm going to end this part here, like I said. So if you've enjoyed, like and subscribe. You know the drill. And I will catch you next time. Thanks for watching.